Hello, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Today we're going to continue using the TI-89 calculator. And I have to admit, this function of the calculator that we're going to explore today is really neat and can actually save you on an exam, uh, especially if you're dealing with trig functions. So what I'm talking about here is simplifying trigonometric expressions. We've all dealt with trig identities, you know, they're the double angle formulas, the half angle formulas. There's, there's literally pages and pages of trig identities. And, um, you know, the calculator has them all built in. It can simplify um, lots of complicated trig expressions. And in fact, you can use the calculator to sort of um, regenerate any trig identity that you might need. So it's, it's really, really useful. What we need to do uh, is go under the algebra menu. I know it's a little odd going in the algebra menu for a trig uh, item, but if we scroll down, way down here, we're going to get to number nine, which is the trig menu. It's actually faster if you go into F2 and hit the up arrow, and then you'll get there faster. So you go into the flyout for the trig menu. There are two functions here, which are the functions that we're going to explore in this section. One is called T expand and one is called T collect. They're both used to simplify trig expressions. So my advice to you really is I'm going to teach you the different ways and reasons that you would use these guys, but five months from now you might forget the details of how they work differently. So my advice to you is if you're trying to simplify a trig expression, uh, just try both of them. And uh, if one of them won't work, then it'll be pretty obvious. And if the other one gives you something simpler, simpler back, then uh, you're in good shape. So let's go work with T expand, trig expand. As you might guess, it's going to attempt to expand uh, a trig expression that you type in here. All right. So what you're going to do is put trigonometric expressions in here, meaning sine, cosine, tangent. Um, etc. So let's just do something really, really simple. Let's go ahead and put the sine in here. And uh, let's say you're having trouble remembering if you take sine of negative x, how does that uh, you know, work out? In other words, x is an angle. We could use theta here. We'll do that here in a second. But you know, is this an even or an odd function? The sine function is an odd function. That means that if you if you stick something in with a negative sign then when you look at the graph you should be able to convince yourself what's going to happen is you're going to get a negative the negative value of what you otherwise would have gotten so if you if you're having a hard time remembering even an odd functions from trig you're having a hard time remembering what this identity is put it in t expand hit enter and it's going to tell you that sine of an angle that you stick a negative sign in front of is equal to negative times the sine of that angle and that's just a trig identity that you can 